Good afternoon, morning, or evening, depending on where you're tuning in from. Today is Thursday, May 16th, 2024. I received a word from the Lord at approximately 2.16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Lord wants this message titled, Iron Sharpens Iron. The Bible says we are to test every spirit. We test the Spirit by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who is going to be able to tell you where this word is coming from. Is it coming from the Lord? Is it coming from the Holy Spirit? Or is it coming from a different spirit? So you will be able to confirm or deny that either in your own personal prayer time or also when you're meditating on the word, seeing as Jesus Christ is the living and active word of God. This is what the Lord said. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written that bad company corrupts good morals. Are you watching the company you keep? Are you conforming to their ways, the ways of the world? Or are they conforming to my way through you? You are to influence them. You have been pulled out of the world. You have been set apart as citizens of heaven, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You are to come out from among them and touch not the unclean thing. Conformity is what society and culture does. But you are my disciples, and so I hold you to a higher standard. You are not your own. You are bought at a price and should be glorifying me in your body. Your bodies are a temple of my spirit, earthen vessels that house a price, priceless treasure. Wherever you go, I am with you. For where can you go from my spirit? I am Emmanuel. I do not leave or forsake you. It is not by might or power, but by my spirit dwelling in you that you are able to do any good works. You are salt and light, a city on a hill. A lamp is not meant to be kept, kept under a basket. Some of you are masking and covering up the light to fit in, to be accepted and approved of. But those who live for the approval of man cannot be my disciple. Those who seek to please man cannot please me. Fear of man is a snare, but fear of me is the start of becoming wise. And to fear me is to hate evil all forms of it. You are not to do as they do. That is not the way you have been taught. Learn from my ways. Keep my commands. Follow my leading. Not everything is sinful, but not everything is profitable either. Choose wisely who you are surrounding yourself with and what influences you have around you. Iron sharpens iron. So one man sharpens another. However, when you associate with lawlessness and bring those influences around you, you are susceptible to being swayed to do what they do. My children come out from among them. For what fellowship has light with darkness, the temple with idols, or Christ with Belial? I have warned you not to become unequally yoked. This is not just referring to a husband or wife. This is referring to who you work for, the friends you choose to be around, and even people you are considering partnering up with on a business venture. Not everyone has your best interests at heart. People are not always what they seem. Seek greater discernment. Ask me for wisdom to guide you in every decision you make so that you don't make a costly one. For the record... Any decision outside of your father's will is a costly one. Greater discernment is needed to endure to the end, having done all to stand. Following me requires letting me lead you into the way everlasting. I am the way. Follow me. I received the following confirmations. Proverbs 27, 5-6 Open rebuke is better than love carefully concealed. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Proverbs 28.4 Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, 
but such as keep the law contend with them. Proverbs 28, 6, Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Proverbs 27, 17, As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Proverbs 26, 4, Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also be like him. And he also brought me to uh, Proverbs, and I'm sorry, I don't have the number. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. Proverbs 24, 1, do not be envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them. For their heart devises violence, and their lips talk of troublemaking. Proverbs 23, 23, buy the truth and do not sell it. Also, wisdom, instruction, and understanding. And the last one, Proverbs 23, 26. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways.